trim, trim, trim. You've got to trim. And this is another thing that we see is that, well, when you autopilot off, you disconnect, you bring the nose down, immediately upon bringing the nose down, the stick shaker stops. And so usually, unconsciously, you're kind of thinking, without even really thinking about it, like I said, it's an unconscious type of thing, whereby, hey, the stick shaker stopped, so I'm out of the stall, and you stop trimming. But what you fail to realize is that you just applied thrust, and thrust is not immediate. Thrust in turbine airplanes, as you all know, it has a spool up delay. So ultimately what happens is, here you are in your aircraft, okay? You got the aircraft in a good recovery, but the engines are spooling up, and they're not 100% there yet, but when you nose down, the stick shaker stops, you apply the power, because the stick shaker seizes, you think you're out of the woods, you stop trimming, next thing you know, the engines spool up, which drives the nose up, and you've relaxed pressure, you've stopped trimming because the stick shaker turned off and you thought you were out of it, and not to be the case. So, something again to emphasize, keep in mind, is that when you keep the nose down, Okay, when you put that nose down, trim, 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 trim. And just because the stick shaker stops, don't think you're out of the woods. You're not. In just a moment, those engines are going to spool up. It's going to drive your nose up, and you're going to need not only more trim, but additional forward stick pressure in order to keep that nose down.